Hello, hello, hello. This is a message from the universe for August 17th, 2020. This is the rune Burkana. So Burkana is the rune of growth and rebirth. And Burkana speaks to the process of growth and rebirth. So it talks about removing the resistance that we have to change, to really examining those shadows in the corners, those things that we try to hide from, and then releasing them, letting them move on. It's about really looking at these spaces that you've been in. And even though this card says judgment, it's not about judgment with blame. It's more about judgment with justice, judgment with acceptance, judgment with an understanding of what we went through. And the fact that it was for our learning not to blame ourselves, not to punish ourselves, not to continuously bring it up in our heads or to the other person we're involved with over and over and over again. It's about accepting our part in it, recognizing where we went wrong, apologizing to whomever is necessary to apologize for, and letting it go. Letting it go. In our, our personal systems here, we, after someone has done their time in jail, in prison, or has gotten their punishment, they're once again innocent. They are once again able to move through life freely without that holding over their head, or at least they're supposed to be. This is how we need to be in our own lives. We are not meant to carry the burden of what we have done wrong for our entire lifetime. We are not meant to punish ourselves over and over again for something that happened years ago. And one of the reasons that this is so important is because we have a tendency to hold on to incorrect perspectives of situations. Sometimes that means we think we did nothing wrong when we really did. And sometimes that means we were the one that was at fault when we weren't at fault at all. And that's what this Burkana is all about, is really looking closely at those spaces and figuring out the situation from an unbiased point of view through the eyes of your spiritual practice and using your spiritual tools not sitting in the pain of it not sitting in the guilt or the shame of it and reliving it over and over again but rather examining it as if you are a judge on a trial and then giving yourself the justice or them the justice and then letting it go not carrying it with you This knave of coins is talking about the opportunities that come your way, all of the changes that are coming, training for your new position, putting the work in and the creative process of this new opportunity or several new opportunities that are coming through to you because this eight of wands is saying movement. It's talking about shifting into the next gear. It's talking about moving into the next space, but you cannot take your old devil with you into the new space. You cannot continue to do the same thing and expect change to happen. You have to learn new ways, embrace new opportunities, and you have to release what has happened and release your own self-punishment in that. And once again, we have this six of wands talking about victory, cheering you on, letting you know that this process that you are going through, even though it is difficult, even though growth can be incredibly difficult, even though it can hurt like crazy and feels like you're literally in hell sometimes, that your victory is there ahead of you. And all you have to do is open your eyes to it, be open to it, look to the future, look to the present, look at the signs and the opportunities that are trying so hard to present themselves to you, because you got this, you got this. It is difficult, but it is so worth it. You are beloved, you matter, you are loved.